Hello, my name is Sean578, and I'm going to be showing you today how to make a potassium nitrate rocket, also known as a CNO3 rocket or a sugar rocket. Now, we're just going to be making out of basic homemade things like a toilet roll, an egg carton cup, as you can see, I've already made quite a fair few. Tried to burn down the backyard, but I haven't achieved that yet. Aluminium foil, sticky tape. Obviously, just your regular sugar and bag of hopefully potassium nitrate, not some sort of drug. All right, well, let's get down to this. First thing, you're gonna grab a pair of scissors. It's gonna cut your toilet roll down through the center. So it's like that. Simple. You grab your egg carton shell and just cut out one of these little egg holders. Get rid of that. And sort of just carve it out so you don't have these little grooves and stuff. So it roughly looks something like this. Yeah? Now, stay there. Now we're going to get the aluminium foil. Like a decent sheet here because what we're going to do is you're actually going to wrap this aluminium foil on the inside and outside of this, which is going to provide insulation. So, essentially, because it's going to be a lot of heat, this will not melt or burn. And this is going to be on the inside because this is going to hold it together because obviously, aluminium foil is not that strong, it's not going to really hold the mixture. And I'm also going to wrap the nozzle as well an aluminium foil, so when this thing happens to take off, it's not going to burn. So let's go cut this. I recommend just cutting a nice long sheet, just so you can get this all in one go. And what you need to do is, shove this in the center here. Grab your sticky tape, just sort of tape one end in. Then you just go around, tape probably about three times, I reckon, just to hold it in place. Okay. So it's sort of like that. And then you just do the same with the other side. It's a bit long, just bend it over. Just keep going the whole way around. And voila, that is now done on both sides. Now, probably just use your finger and just smush it against the side just so you get as much room as possible so that. You can pour the mixture in. The next part is relatively easy. What you do is you grab these flaps here and you bend them over. Just give it a little bit of a tape. And do the same with the other piece. Twist it around. Tape it over. And then just fold the excess inwards. enough protection so the carpet doesn't burn but also enough stability so you can pour your mix in without it well, going everywhere now all you need to do is seal it as you get these two parts here you just overlap them just like that and all you need to do is just a bit of a tape show that sort of work that's a nice long piece and just wrap it nice and tightly around because you don't want it to fall apart. Grab a second piece and you do the opposite side as well. Now you can use any sort of tape, you can use masking tape, duct tape, whatever. This rocket's really only a one use thing, you can't really refill it because when this thing goes off it leaves this crusty mess on the inside of whatever you're making. 
Now this thing, we're going to wrap this in alfoil too. So you just cut yourself a nice small square. No, it's going to be whatever. So you sort of got to shove it into the middle here. And once you've got it in the middle, you just sort of curve it over the top. And then you just pinch it. Try to make sure it's all covered. It's really the inside you want covered. Simple, that's the head of your rocket or the nose, whatever you will call it. And all you simply gotta do is bam, straight on the rocket. Any side doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm gonna go with that side. What you wanna do is tape that down, it's nice and secure. Because this is not only the nose of the rocket, but when you pour your mixture in, it's actually gonna be nose down. So it's actually going to be like a seal. Once you've got it nice and secure, I recommend just wrapping one piece of tape around the outside to make sure nothing's going to come out of there. Voila. And that's a simple, easy rocket there. So that rocket is now, or well the shell is now finished. So when you have it sitting, it's going to sit like that. And that's where you're going to pour your mixture into. So let's get on to the mixture. All right, first of all, you're going to need a pot or a saucepan. Yes, a pot or a saucepan. Sorry, my girlfriend's trying to talk to me. <laughs> Preferably get something that is um, cheap or something you never use again because you're not I don't really want to cook potassium nitrate in here and then try and cook your lovely stir fry later with it. Same thing, try and get a spatula or a spoon or something that you're never going to use again. And also grab yourself a pair of digital scales, or scales, whatever you got. Turn it on, so it zeroes off. Tear it. Ryan, you want to quickly turn around and grab me a spoon? Oh. I just draw. Oh. I forgot to grab a spoon. There we go. Uh, big spoon? Any spoon. You want a big spoon? <laughs> I'll just grab a spoon and you're not going to use it. Now, the ratio for this is um, I'm going to make a 100 gram mixture. It's actually 60-40 um, mix. So you put in 40 grams sugar, 60 grams potassium nitrate. So if you were to do like a one kilo, it's obviously 600 grams of this, 400 grams of that, and so on and so forth. Now just as a note, when actually you're doing this, when you mix potassium nitrate and sugar together, it actually becomes flammable as it is. Potassium nitrate by himself is not flammable. Or well, not to my knowledge. Also, what we're doing here will be the same way I'll be making the wick. Apart from I will not be cooking this. Alright. That's actually 100 grams on the dot now. Now that that makes it on, just give it a bit of a stir, get it all together, turn that off. Now what we're going to need to do now is you, we're going to go over to the stove and you're going to put this on about a medium heat, so I mean that's number four, and you're going to sit there and let it cook until it turns into a caramel, but you've got to make sure you keep stirring it. Right, so let's go over to the stove. Now what I'm about to start doing here is start cooking it. I've got my stove here on a medium heat. So what you want to do is pour that in evenly roughly. And sort of give it a bit of a stir. Now what you want to do is you keep stirring it and it'll eventually it'll start getting clumpy. And it'll start slowly turning into a caramel, but we don't want to stop until it becomes like a runny goop. So actually I'll fast forward it until it comes to this point. Oh, <laughs> 
Once you have done that and your rocket has cooled, I want you to move on to this next step which I'm about to show you right now. But also just as a note, do not let your rocket cool too much otherwise this part could be quite difficult. For this part you're going to have to grab something rounded and try to put it in about 3 quarters of the way through. If it winds up being too tough you could always just use a power drill. For me, I accidentally did let it cool too much and I actually went ahead and did use a power drill so I cheated. For this part you could attach it to a stick if you want it to go up in the air. All you gotta do is get a reasonably straight stick, attach it to the rocket with just a bit of tape, place it inside a PVC pipe or any sort of pipe, insert your wick, light and hopefully it should go. Or you could do what I'm going to do and attach to a skateboard because I really do not want it to go over the fence. Also, just as a side note, potassium nitrate and sugar together, not cooked, is still highly flammable as you can see in both these videos here. One showing the cooked and one showing the uncooked. Now for this part I'm going to show you how to make your wick. All you got to do is you grab some newspaper roll it up into a rough tube try and put it down the hole that you just recently drilled or managed to stick a pole into once you have done that I want you to grab some potassium nitrate and sugar just mix a little bit up together I'm just going to use my hand for this part probably don't use your hand and then you just got to try and pour it down the tube and this will pretty much be your fuse ready to go now once you've done all that your rocket should be done just make sure you keep a bucket of water nearby or a fire extinguisher in case something does happen to go wrong in that unlikely circumstance. Now for this I'm also going to attach my GoPro to the rocket so we'll be able to see well, what the rocket is seeing. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are to do this yourself, do exercise some caution unlike myself and any kids out there are deciding they want to do this, do please make sure you got your parents with you when you do this. Thank you.